In this video right here, we're gonna quickly go over all the different components and assets that make up the visuals on your broadcast when using Streamlabs console. To add any component on Streamlabs console, all you have to do is go over to the left ledger and click on add component. Let's talk about adding a text first, which allows you to display any text that you want on your broadcast. Simply double click and type in what you want. Now we can actually make some personalized changes here if we want over on the right ledger. Let's talk about the unique ones. For text, you can make changes to the font size, plus you can make changes to the font style and color. If you want it to be on a scroll, you can click on ticker, which will make it scroll from side to side. Don't forget to position your text by clicking and dragging, or you can actually use the X and Y axis to put it wherever you would like. Once you have found the position, you can lock your aspect ratio, and you can also make changes to the angle and opacity, which will make it more transparent or more opaque. You can even have borders, shadow, or add a stroke. If you ever need to delete your text, you can do so right below or right next to the component itself. The next component we're gonna talk about is a custom component. The unique change you can do here is when you actually open up the open code editor, which allows you to make changes in custom HTML, custom CSS, and custom JavaScript. The next component we're gonna talk about is the alert box setting, which allows you to actually have alerts on your stream. The only unique one here is the fact that you can mirror your Streamlabs alerts on streamlabs.com by simply clicking on use Streamlabs settings. When you do this, it will mirror exactly everything that you have on streamlabs.com and you just have to pick where you wanna put it on your canvas. Now, if you wanna make any changes to your alerts, simply click on go to alert box settings. This will take you to your streamlabs.com account. And from here, you can make all the changes you need to make for your alerts. The next handful of components pretty much all work the same way. You have chat, which will display your chat on your broadcast, event list, which will give you a list of different events and actions that have happened during your broadcast, and stream labels, which will allow you to showcase one action or event, or even a milestone that happened during your stream. All these will mirror or use your Streamlab settings. However, stream label will actually have one unique setting that is worth taking a look at where you actually get to pick what label it's going to be. All you need to simply do is click on Browse Stream Labels. And here you can pick and choose whatever label you want displayed on your broadcast. There's a ton here, so feel free to pick whichever one would be best for your stream. The last component we're gonna talk about is how to add an image, which is what you see in the top left corner here. This one is actually really simple. It has all the same personalization that you can add as the other assets, but to add an image in general, just click upload new image and you can pick from a stockpile of different images or you can choose to upload your own by clicking and dragging. Once you have it in here, you simply move it around within the canvas so it displays on the broadcast and that's it. If you need any help with the components of game capture and web camera, you can check out the other tutorial we have on that. To get to it, all you gotta do is click in the top right corner on your icon and go to the tutorials and you'll see me there helping you out. Have a good one.